What's going on guys? Welcome back to Bad Piston. So I haven't posted in a while. Uh, one of the reasons being is my car is down. Another one, I was on vacation for two weeks. Uh, but yeah, we're back. Uh, also, I mean, this uh, for those of you guys new in the channel, uh, my transmission was done. So that's why the car is on Jackson's right now. Uh, actually, today is Sunday. Tomorrow, I'm, I'm going to be posting the video. And at the same time, I'm going to be making a trip to L.A. to drop off my transmission to get it uh, rebuilt. I'm getting the... It's on my friend's house, but I'm getting the Circle D uh, Level 3 uh, rebuild kit. So I'm going to pick it up and then go to the transmission shop, drop it off uh, so they can work on it. I don't know if I'm going to make a video about it. I mean, it's not like I'm doing the process, so there's nothing to record. Uh, but yeah. Uh, while we do that, also, uh, some of you guys news, others, you know, if, like I say, if you're new to the channel, I was planning on actually getting a cage built, but uh, a lot of things happened, and one of them being the transmission blowing out, uh, extra money that I wasn't planning to spend, so I'm going to have to push back the, the custom cage. But we're going to be installing the harness bar from uh, Braum. As, uh, some I show you right now, but I replaced the seats and I got the the seat belts also. So it's gonna be a quick video. Hopefully, uh, I explain the process, but it, it's super easy. I'm gonna record everything. There's nothing to talk about, honestly. Just bolt, bolt the bar on and put the seat belts on. But yeah, I'll show you guys real quick how the how the look. Man, it's, it's I'm excited. I wasn't like I said. I wasn't planning on getting this. Uh, I was looking more for the build cage inside my car but for now we're just gonna rock it with this with this harder part new to the channel uh, last couple videos before my trans went out I recently installed my no my new uh, bronze seats it's like really badass I love them I haven't been able to actually I think I, I drove like twice to the gym with them before my trans went out so yeah and I did uh real delete you're gonna be installing the bar I got the bar and I got the seats too and everything is from brown so beautiful red Kind of matches the seats and i mean this is honestly just a bolt on process super easy and you basically just bolt the bar i mean i'm not going to be using the stock seats anymore so i'm going to just remove those place the bar here and then there's two more bars that go and and uh we bolt on here so i record the process like i said it's nothing a lot to explain basically and uh yeah you guys see me doing it and you thinking about it you know let's uh let's let's, let's get it all right so this is what the kit looks like uh this is the pieces that will go into the uh, stock seat belt bolts the one i just told you and there's two bars you got these two little brackets that go give the angle for this bars and this one will be going like this so let's get it so you guys can see it, but I love it. Love this red. All right, so just to remove, get rid of the seat belts, the stock ones. So all you're using is a T50 socket, and that's to remove the the belt from the top, T50, there's another T50. So you just gotta get this plastic uh, out of the way so you can get uh, the seat belt and completely removed. So there's another bolt and the sensor. But pretty much that's it, man. That's how you remove it. You're not gonna need them anymore. And just put it back and do the same thing for the other side. All right, so we got the bar on top uh, ready mounted. It's not fully mounted. Right now, I left it a little loose so I can get the rest of the parts before tying everything. So we're gonna get these brackets, one per side. So basically, this is still, you're gonna be using the stock bolts, so don't throw them away. 
and you're gonna get this bracket in like this and we use the T50 same for the other side all right after getting those brackets in so it's time to get this part and uh, it's gonna go like so and it's gonna get a screw on this part and on the bottom with the rest of the bolts all right guys so that's pretty much it man that's that's how it's gonna look so you see that's the bracket right there with the bolts and it goes all the way over here so you just gotta make sure you gotta play with the length of it adjust it for uh this this bars adjust from uh both sides both both uh end so make sure you get the right length all right man so now time to install the seat belts brown racing seat belts man I love it. Gonna look good. I love this heat. Boom. That's it, man. Let's get them. All right, guys. So I got the seat belts with me. Man, they're gonna look sick, man. Boom. So let's get it. All right. So we got the seats right now. Uh, I just put them through the holes as of right now, and then I'm gonna show you how to strap them around the bar. So I'm not gonna be using these hooks. I'm gonna remove them and just uh, strap them around the bar. I'll show you how. All right, guys, so you guys kind of saw how, how uh, time and down, and this is what it's supposed to look like after you adjust and and, and the leg and all that stuff. I've seen people uh, zip tie the axis, so I'll see, depending on how much is the length is left, uh, roll it up and tie the axis so it looks nice and clean. And a lot of people do uh, another uh, final, what do you call it, lap on this one. So to, just to get it super tight and the excess ends up in the back. So that's what I'm gonna end up doing. Uh, show you guys uh, at the end. But for now, uh, I just show you how it's supposed to look like. And we're gonna leave both of them like this so I get the right length and I can adjust them. But I'm gonna move to the other ones. All right guys, so we got the, those seat belts, uh, the two on the back. We got one on the side that, that actually has the lock is gonna go. To an actual bracket that it's gonna be on this one on the actual seat so as you see those uh, o-rings or eyeball screws whatever you guys want to call it is gonna go attached to this bracket right here and I got a time right now and it's just gonna hook right there so basically that's that's, that's how that one is the promise on this one so as you guys see that's how it looks after I mounted the, the bar this is the issue right here so this one hooks the same as the other one right where's that where's that bolt at where that? right here so this one so this one supposedly it just screws right here and it locks right so that's good the problem is this whole uh harness for the the bracket so it's, it's too short doesn't really even reach down to be able to run it like this and like that doesn't work either so or it might i don't know but this is not the way it's supposed to look right so we'll see uh i'm gonna see what i'm gonna end up doing maybe i can run to uh, uh home depot or autosone promise too late now so we'll see if i can get a longer one 
uh, the, uh, the size of this one. It has to be the same uh, screw length or size, whatever. But yeah, that's that's the issue. Uh, we'll see. We'll, I'll let you guys know what uh, I'm going to do. All right, guys. So the next day. So I took a little trip to uh, Home Depot to see uh, any ideas to see what... Uh, well, what solution should I should I do on this scenario? So I ended up just buying basically for this uh, uh, links. They're rated for two thousand pounds, so there's nothing. It's not like any cheap stuff, so it's gonna hold. So I'm gonna use them both. One, I'm gonna put back how everything was on the bracket, just the way it is over there. And basically, I'm just gonna mount this one over here. And just so I can get the seat belt on this side, all I gotta do is just adjust the length and hook it up right here. So that's gonna be one, and the other one is gonna be on the bracket itself. Same deal. Uh, put the link right here, and then just hook the the seat belt. So that's that's. I think that's the best uh scenario or the best solution to it instead of messing with it, anything and grinding or uh cutting anything so let's let's give it a try all right guys so as you guys see uh i just zip tied this ends so i don't have all straps all, all around it kind of look neat uh so basically that's what it looks like now like i said uh added that link right there a uh, link attached to the bracket and basically i mean that's it man just adjust them before you put the zip ties and everything and that way they're just always ready uh also i'm not gonna be using the actual the fifth strap so it's not gonna be a five point it's gonna be a four point but uh right now i don't need it maybe later on i don't know i'll see but for now four points will do it and another thing this is how it functions so you can uh click one by one you don't have to hold them and lock them all by once as soon as you put one it locks and then once you have it all locked up you're ready and all you gotta do is move this one and everything comes comes loose that's it man all right guys so there you guys have it uh this is what the the seat belts look like so it, it definitely changed a lot i feel like i'm in another car now <laughs> and i mean it's just the seats the bar uh seat belts but it feels a lot uh stiffer i i, I guess I, i'm more like attached to the car uh i don't know it's kind of weird to express i haven't tested them yet but uh but i'm just waiting for my transmission actually i just dropped it off in la and came back to back to Mexico again. And in a couple of weeks, I'm gonna go back and uh, pick it up. Hopefully, it should be ready. But yeah, man, uh, even the bar looks good. I mean, I was planning on having the the cage built, but uh, like I said, uh, we're gonna have to push that back. But for now, that bar will do it. It looks it looks good. It matches the seat belts and the stitching on the seats i mean i couldn't be happier man i like them can't wait to be ready and and start posting some racing videos but uh, hopefully you like uh the video man uh subscribe if you want to all that stuff but uh stand by for some some racing content pretty soon so see you guys in the next one